Hey everybody, welcome back to the Automation Minute. In this episode, I want to cover what is available for programming software options for the Micrologic Slick 500 and PLC5. I'm basing this on a much longer video, which is Lesson 102 over at the Automation School. It's a free preview lesson, so you can watch the entire version for free, and I'll include a link in the description. But I wanted to this week just really focus on some of that research I did for my students over at the school and then just share it with you guys to the public. And so let's go ahead and get started here. Again, this is a uh, subset of the full lesson over at the Automation School. Oh, and by the way, 10% off, use the uh, coupon code HOLIDAY24, 10% off everything except the software we, we resell, the simulators. Um, all the costs is 10% off. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in here. Uh, for the Micrologics, you know, only the 1400 is still available, but you can find, um, you know, older Micrologics, uh, you know, on the secondhand market, recycled market, pretty inexpensively. Still, I think the 1400 is a great choice, even uh, secondhand. But um, let's talk about what's available today. So recently, in one of my past videos, again, I'll include this link in the description, um, I showed you how to, in 2024, how to get a free copy of RS Logics Micro Starter Lite. Just be aware that only works with the 1000, 1100, and the PLC emulator, okay? So I cover all that in my courses and in a previous video here on the automation, here on uh, Insights and Automations channel and on the automationblog.com. Now, um, there is also a paid version of the software. It's called RS Logics Micro Starter Edition. Now this supports all Micrologics, including the 1400. And this is, you can either get it for about $74 a year, or you can just buy a lifetime copy for $224. I think um, a few years ago when I bought this, it was $200 and um, actually over 10 years ago. So this is one of those products that have not gone up, in my opinion, a lot, maybe about 10%. And I, I'm very thankful for that, very thankful, because, um, you know, software's not like hardware, right? Um, I don't think it should go up as fast, right? In any case, that cost, it would be nice if nothing went up. <laughs> but in any case, um, then there is also this thing called an RS Logics Micro Developer. I've never used it, but I, I got more information on that. And, um, you can either lease it once for a year for $263 or buy a lifetime copy for $800. You know, again, with, with the Micro 1400 being the only Micrologics left and it's active mature, may not be the right time to buy it, but uh, in any case, I wanted to share that with you. Now, here's the uh, features of the developer edition, and you can see the publication from Rockwell's website that this is from. This is as of 11 7 I know my face is covering that, but in any case... Um, you can see uh, data table usage, library utility, index library load, quick key editing, you know, just a lot of nice things we have in like uh, RS Logics 500 standard, you'll find in the developer edition and, and some additional things as well. Um, from there, uh, here's a snapshot from 11.7 of, of Rockwell's website. This is what it looks like. You do need a free uh, ab.com or rockwellautomation.com website login to get to this point. Um, but in any case, all the links you see in this presentation will be in that lesson I will link to. Again, it's a free preview lesson, so you can, you can uh, pull it up for free and watch it for free. Um, in any case, uh, you can see all the prices there. Now, for Slick 500, right, uh, and I want to say this, if you've bought Slick 500 software from Rockwell in the past and you just can't find it, call them. Um, you know, either you can get into support and they'll send you the everything, or you can um, just have them reset your activation if you already have the install files or install disks. So that costs nothing. So at least it always did. I don't know if they changed something in the last few months. But here's your options. So let's say your computer dies in the middle of the night and you're gonna get your RS Logics 500 up and running. There's a grace mode built into the software. You just install the software on a new computer, runs for seven days without needing an activation. You can also get, and I'm surprised they still do this, but I think it's good. You can still get uh, temporary activations for RS Logics 500. Last time I checked earlier this year. And, um, you know, it's a 30 day trial. You know, just tell them, hey, I want to try out the software. I want to become more familiar with it. Don't tell them you're a student or instructor. They'll send you to one of these expensive, way overpriced four year colleges, but in any case, or universities. Um, and then you have the starter edition. And just for the sake of time, I'm just going to give you the annual price. That's $807 a year. The standard edition is $1,623 a year, and the RS Logics 500 Pro is $3,600 well, $3, a year. Honestly, I don't know why these prices are so expensive. If you look at the, what the competitors offer, they're all under the professional edition. I mean, people have more market share than Rockwell. 
are selling their current software for less, and it supports their older models. So, I don't know. Take it with a grain of salt, you know, salt. But in any case, don't mean to be salty. But uh, in any case, let's go on to the comparison table. This is answer ID 796882 or uh, doc ID IN3000. You can search this up right on Rockwell's Knowledge Base, but they have this great free, free, all you need is a free login to Rockwell, a free uh, comparison of all these different packages I've talked about. Now, what if you have a PLC5? Well, I, I guess I'm happy that they don't sell it anymore because it was like 10 grand or something ridiculous. So back in the day, right, back in the mid-90s, I guess, you know, it was very easy to remember, uh, you know, um, the pricing of the software. Like the Slick 500 uh, standard was 2400 and the PLC5, no, the Slick 500 standard was 1200 the the um, Control Logix was 2400 and the PLC5 was 3300 still think the PLC5 was overpriced back then, but, you know, you could re easily remember, I didn't even have to quote people, you know, back in the mid-90s, 1200 2400 or 3300 Those were the prices there, way more than that now. So that's for some reason, I remember talking to Rockwell about this, and I'm like, hey, all your development's done, you're not updating it, why is the price going up? And the answer was, because we can get that, because we can get that, because we can get the, the higher price. And um, don't believe if they say, oh, we have all this these people we have to keep around the support you know anybody who knows the plc5 can do control logics in their sleep right really come on so in any case all right i'm getting off my soapbox so you can't get it new anymore uh they may do something special if you call in and you talk to the distributor they may have something behind the scenes to do but you can't do self-service get your own copy of rs logics and they say online on their website that it is officially no longer available so i just want to thank uh, the folks who who uh uh, gave us one of their licenses because they ripped out all their PLC-5s. If you're in that situation, please consider us. Um, you know, we try to keep everything super affordable for our students and for our customers. So if you want to donate a license, we could maybe exchange a, a uh, you know, a lifetime access to one of our control logics courses for a license of 5, 500, or 5,000. We have licenses of each, but it would be nice to have multiples so we could actually do some hands-on with people. So please keep us in mind on that. So that is... Um, the programming software options for the Micrologix, Slick 500, and PLC5. Again, if you're interested in training on any of these products, go over to the automationschool.com, use Holiday24, and uh, you will get 10% off. That's my holiday special I'm running. And um, everything, all the trainings are all 20, 10% off, not the, um, the software where we resell. We can't discount that because we don't make a lot on it to begin with. So in any case, got to keep the lights on, right? So I'm um, going to make a profit. But uh, in any case, I do want to uh, 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 let you guys know that you can get this whole expanded lesson. I'll put a link in the description. That lesson is a free preview to anybody over at the Automation School, so you can get the whole shebang. And with that, that's the end of this episode. Now, I do plan uh, coming back tomorrow afternoon and doing the Micro 800 and the software availability for that. We'll take a look at what the difference is between the free and the paid. And then on Thursday, we'll talk about Compact Logic Control Logics programming software, the current prices. I think you, some of you will have sticker shock, just like I did. Like, really? Nine grand? But hey, spoilers, right? We'll get to that. We'll get to that uh, uh, on Thursday. Of course, we do have an episode of the Automation Podcast coming out on Wednesday. A great one, right? Brand new PLC coming out. We also have a um, question of the week on Friday, and then I'll probably do an after show for members on Friday as well. So with that said, I want to wish you guys all an awesome week. I want to wish you good health and happiness. And until next time, my friends, peace.